Oh, I thought that was you. I thought it was you. Oh. They're trying to load together, shoot together. It's not working out. I was looking over at Kyle after I had shot, and he was reloading. And uh, when all the dust settled, I think we hit 10 targets total. Here. Dang it, Kyle! As long as you have fun, that's all we care about. <laughs> we only hit 10. <laughs> We enjoyed it. Good, good game. Good game. We appreciate y'all coming out and uh, all in good fun. <laughs> good shooting. After Matt and Kyle finished shooting, their score ended up being 10 out of 25. So that leaves Brad and I sitting at the table waiting on lunch to be served. But instead, we let them off the hook lightly, and they brought us coffee instead. That's a bet, guys. Oh, hey, there we go. Just Pretty like salt. you like it. Thank you, sir. Kyle and I made good on our bet and served Brad and Jesse some coffee. We had an opportunity to sit down in Mr. Olin's house that's still preserved uh, just like it was the day he bought the farm. This is the original farmhouse. Mr. Olin hung out right here in this very room. You can see all the nostalgic mm -hmm. uh, pictures and stuff. When we get into the house, it's very noticeable to Matt and I just how much of a passion that Mr. Owen had for the outdoors. One of his most prized possessions was probably the painting above the fireplace of his dog, King Buck, who was actually the only animal to appear on a federal duck stamp other than a waterfowl. Kyle asked us some questions about some of the past trips that Jesse and I have taken in the two seasons of Friends of NRA. So it was cool to kind of recollect back to some of those trips. You know, what's been kind of the most memorable thing for you the last two years? Yeah, all the, <laughs> all the trips were good. It still amazes me so much what these volunteers do. I mean, they're not getting paid anything. They're devoting their time and efforts strictly because they believe in our Second Amendment rights. I hear from volunteers all the time is, this is my second religion. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's literally how they, <laughs> they look at they it. They live it. They love and, it. You know, this year is our 20th anniversary of Friends. We, we surpassed the $400 million raised mark. Wow. Uh, so it's just, you know, it's amazing. I've been here 17 yeah. years mm -hmm. seeing where we were and where we are now. And, and it's just amazing what we've been able to do every day in, in thousands of communities across the country, making a difference. And that's really what it's all about for all of our staff, all of our field staff and volunteers, is we always look back on when we look at this, it's not really how much money we raised, but are we making a difference? You know, and Brad's kind of a twofold guy here because he's a volunteer on a committee, but he also uh, is, a, is a proud employee of one of our, our biggest sponsors here now too. And, and we're very happy to have Winchester on board. It's just great to see you go out there, grassroots organization, raising money, putting it right back into the community. Uh, and I just couldn't be prouder either personally or, you know, as a, as a Winchester guy, we're really glad to partner with the NRA and now the Friends of the NRA. You know, we really appreciate the, the sponsorship and the support from Winchester. Lunch was over, now it was time to head out and do some bird hunting. Right away we get out into the field and we meet up with Roger and Dean. Dean's going to be our guide and dog handler for the day. I can introduce you to Jesse. Hi, I'm Jesse. This is Matt. Matt, how you doing? You. This, this is Kyle with the NRA. Dean gets one of the labs out and we start hunting. There's nothing like watching a good dog work. We hadn't been out there but a few minutes and it didn't take very long for the dog to flush the first pheasant. Hey. 